Lashana Tova Tekase Vesachase, may we be inscribed and sealed for a healthy, joyful, and good, sweet year. Those are the words that reverberate throughout the month of Elul, the month that precedes the holiday of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, which starts the month of Tishrei this coming week. It is a month, the month of Elul is, of reflection, of taking accounts and preparing ourselves for the new year and for the day of judgment, which is Yom Kippur, and the days that start with Rosh Hashanah preceding, known as the Aseris Yemei Tshuva, the 10 days of repentance, of return. And God seeks of all of us, all of the Jewish people, all of humanity to return to him and to go in the ways that God wants of all people. The portion that we always read before Rosh Hashanah is the portion of Nitzavim and sometimes Vayelach together. And this is the portion that emphasizes the fact that we all stand together, as the Torah tells us, from the heads, the judges, the leaders, to the simple water carriers and wood choppers. And you all stand as one Atem, Nitzavim, Hayem, Kulchem. All together you stand as one. For when we stand before God, we are all equal. And we are all important. And each one of our actions is something that is counted and contributes to the welfare and well-being of the world and of every human being. We are in a week before the Torah dedication, which is this Sunday, September 9th. And the Torah, it is the secret and the strength of our days. And you should study it, and know it, and learn it, and live by it. The sound of the shofar, which we blow every day, of the month of Elul, culminating with the two days of Rosh Hashanah, which will be this Thursday and Friday. Now we go ahead and experience what the shofar accomplishes. It causes us to suddenly stop. It suddenly causes us to feel a certain degree of an arousal, of an awakening to draw closer to Hashem, to reflect upon ourselves and what we have accomplished. The sound of the shofar reminds the heavenly court, God, and all of humanity of the fact that our ancestor, the patriarch, Isaac, was prepared to even be bound as an offering to fulfill God's command that his father Abraham was preparing to fulfill. The concept of self-sacrifice, of taking from oneself and giving to another, an important element in truly drawing close to Hashem, to God. The concept of the blowing of the shofar which reminds us of the coronation of a king that God should wish to want to be king over this world, over this universe. The concept, the sound of the shofar reminds us of a warning, of a time to take stock, to turn back to the right path to unite together, to want to do God's will, and to do for the sake of God. So the sounds of the shofar, and it is now a year since we started to use you too, with the blowing of the shofar of last year, previous to Rosh Hashanah, and the many people that have commented and heard it, may this be a continuing step, as the Lubavitcher Rebbe said always, to utilize God's technology, God's worlds, God's nature, God's everything to serve Hashem, to serve God. And therefore, on behalf of the Chabad House at the University of South Florida, Young Israel, and Beis David Temple David, I want to wish everyone here, on behalf of myself, my wife Dora, and the family, and the two other rabbis, my two sons, Rabbi Uriel and his family, and Rabbi Levi and his family, a happy and a healthy new year, a year 
of unity, a year of strength, a year of growth, a year of learning, a year of peace, of shalom. And may the sounds of the shofar ultimately herald the coming of what we all strive for, seek, and pine for, which is the coming of Mashiach. And let the sound of the shofar, the great sound, bring in the coming of the Messianic age. Shana Tauber, the Kasseh, the Sechassim.